Hello and welcome back to Goons of Fate, the Hand of Fate 2 LP. I am Circle Master, and joining me in the Discord today we have Mateo360. Hello. And Tello. Wow, did somebody pixels I can't see? Why are there pixels you can't see? Well, no, 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 I'm watching this in film quality. Ah. Uh. So it was requested to do a run of endless mode, so that's what we're doing today. So we're not actually moving on to the chariot. Oh well, goodbye then. W wow. Uh... <laughs> Rude. I'll... I'll be honest, that's slightly disappointing to me. Yeah. Mostly because of the chariot rewards, more than anything. Whoa, jeez. Yeah, I've been having issues with my uh, controller lately, by the way, for whatever reason. So that's not going to be fun. So, Endless Adventure has some little caveats to it. Our fame goes down over time. Our equipment degrades. And if we have more than 100 max life, then just regular damage can reduce our max life. Because just because Endless is in the title, they don't want you to actually play forever. They want you to lose. Forever! Forever! My time. No. It stretches forth into eternity. So, have you ever played or Endless before, out of curiosity? Until your death. Not in Hand of Fate 2. In Hand of Fate 1, I've played Endless, and it was annoying. Now, Why are we suddenly is... in the forest? Find the rules have changed. Because we're no longer bound by time or carriages. I'm pretty sure there's context for this, but I forget this is reason. Oh, all of the options are hats, of course. Hat, 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 hat. So, yeah, given the fact that it. max life will be reduced by combat damage, I'm going to suggest against number two. We got five gold. Yay. Hooray. It might let you buy one piece of equipment. It might let me buy one piece of food. I mean, with the ten gold you already have. This card will determine the enemy you face at the conclusion of this section. Okay. Defeat them, and you will begin <laughs> another, and so on, into infinity. <laughs> So, do we hmm. want to fight Corrupted, or Thieves? There is one vote so far. I'm on the ball! <laughs> People don't like voting for Endless Mode, I guess. I don't know. Well, there's only, like, three of us total. So now our new boss monster is Six Finger Felix. Would you like to make your life more difficult? No doubt. Your history suggests this would not be the first time. So for these options... Whoop, it's not going to tell me what the options are. I thought I had an inspect button. Oh, I do. There it is. Okay. Hmm. So, for this challenge, we need to end with a blessing. If we succeed, we gain extra fame. If we fail, we lose extra fame. For choice B, or number two, I guess is what it has in the chat. Uh, we just have a wheel gambit at the end. And if we succeed, we keep the card that we pick, and if we fail, we keep the card that we pick, because we'll have picked the bad card. And number three, we've got uh, a Pendulum Gambit, which I 
we succeed, we get some health back. And if we fail, we lose a random piece of equipment. Tallow says to have all the challenges, which is rude. <laughs> I mean, there's an achievement for doing that blindly for a few times. Well, it's too late to do it blindly if, it, if I have to not inspect them for that to work. No, I mean, just always take all the challenges no matter what they are. But mind me. And for some reason, I'm not seeing vote results on here. Odd. As I see, Mateo voted for number one. But everything still dashes. Strange. Well, Tello, we'll do... stop trying to break the system. <laughs> this is kind of one where you can vote for multiple things, though. So it's yeah, I don't know how it's supposed to work. I'll just do what Tello says and pick them all because I expect to die very quickly. So we've got a send a message from goblins to an oracle and we need that blessing to be let in uh this is some sort of shipwreck and then the pendulum game is uh, raiding a fortress yep select the cards you need to defeat the enemy ahead the deeper you go the more chances you will have to I mean, this is only a first spell, so it should be relatively easy. So we've got two cards. Allegedly, you can vote on them. Let's see if the voting options actually work. Oh my goodness, now it's working. Yeah, because you more or less pick one and then see what gets added again. I think it's more pick two. And it yeah, is it's shuffle. pick two. I don't seem to be able to call for another vote, but the uh, things are still there. Oh, because you're still voting for uh, this one, technically. Make your choices and consider what must lie ahead. I really don't want to do Desert Trek. Don't vote for Desert Trek. Oops. And in this? No, you're not getting that. I don't even like doing it during quests. It's a pain. I personally like it for one particular reason. Oh, we can start with Lord's Diadem. <laughs> not quite. No, this is just goes in the equipment deck, I know. I'm just being hopeful. Well, you're fighting bandits, so let's give you something that's actually effective against bandits. There's a lot of voting involved in this. Yep. I regret doing endless mode. Message was not sent because it's the same as one I sent. Yeah, just type something else and it'll let you yeah, I know. vote again. <laughs> so here we are. The choice Finally actually made. playing the game. And now the adventure. Huzzah! Yep. You know what, that's probably still my best option against stupid northerners. Yeah, all you have is sweats, you should, you might as well match what you actually need to beat them up effectively. Well, if I do sword and board, I can uh, do the reposts. Yeah, exactly. This 
is not liking my inputs for the dodge roll. And our reward is... Fame. <laughs> oh, there we go. Reveal encounters. Let's see. We've got oh, the goblin retainers and some fallen treasure. And the way out. Let's do the treasure well, first. I would not risk my skin for mere treasure. You do as you see fit. So, do we want to get that warrior's axe? I think no, but I want the shine. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a thing. This would be the fifth shard if we got it. Now, can I not screw this up? There we go. Never. I'm usually good at the pendulum ones. You just I'm... can't perform for an audience. You've I honestly don't know how you have larger success game. things than I do whenever I do this one. It's I not the size, it's how you use it. Whether you're the sort of person to put their faith in goblins, or merely the sort to give their actions no thought. So there's a bunch of guards and a goblin, and the goblin's like, help me. Well, conveniently, you did just pick up a two-handed weapon. And we literally don't have a choice in the matter. We have to help the goblin. Just the dudes with muskets left. This should be pretty easy cleanup. Tallow, I think all the people in Twitch chat left to come back for Detroit tonight. Oh look, combat damaged my equipment. It's... No, it says there's a bunch of viewers in here. I think it's a lie. Here oh, we look. see yet another wheel. Each different, yet um, each yeah. bearing their As own As far as defense can be reduced to zero, and weapons can be reduced to one above being rusty as a rusty piece of shit. Oh, and plus one to number of hits needed to weapon charge. A reward well earned. Ta -da! So hey, we've got a shard token and a regular token so far. I'm all set to just let my character die now. Having said that. <laughs> I am not going to starve to death. <laughs> I think the game heard you. Resolve these as soon as oh, you can. I was wondering if it would be luck to actual hats for this. Uh, hashtag C. Resources. You must consider every decision. Well, I mean, you're already starving to death. I guess I'll give you some hacks life. 
The problem is that Max life degrades. Eh. Oh, so you want to be hurt instead? Let's see, so this warrior's axe is down to 19 damage. Which is still honestly better than our other weapons, so I'm gonna keep using it. Yeah, I think weapons to at least stay better than the rusty pieces of shit, but that's about it. Hey, speaking of starvation, we can give them two food or we can give them nothing. I don't think you have enough food to even tent this giant, unfortunately. Your supplies are running low. Make your choices. Hey, right next to them is a farmer with a heavy sack. Allow me to read words. Uh... Yeah, he's expositing. <clears throat> Now I know the words I was looking for. Allow me to alleviate you of that burden. Well, we can earn endless points by discarding equipment cards. What do endless points do? Who knows? It's literally a high score. Thanks for spoiling it. I am fairly certain that Steven said show high scores at the start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we get to duel with that guy again. I wonder how many times we have to do this to actually earn the shard. Um, when he's a blimstone something. Yeah, what a shock. We're accepting the duel. Beat him up! I'm gonna bash his head in with my rusty axe. Oh, you actually discarded equipment? Alright then. No, I didn't actually discard equipment. But my axe is degrading. Hence, oh, rusty. No. Okay, I hit the parry button and it didn't work. That's awesome. Congratulations, you managed to beat up a drunk captain. So my equipment degraded again. Oh, it's still 19. Yeah. It I, will think, I think that is the limit of its degradation. Yeah, it always takes better damage wise than a rusty piece of shit. Unfortunately, oh, its weapon good. charges will still go up by one hit per fight. So, next fight I'll take 8 hits to do the weapon special. I don't- I wasn't listening to you, I was too busy buying food so I don't starve. So Tallow doesn't want to discuss rumors. Well done. I cannot read that from right now. AI is roller. Let's go to the map screen and actually read that. Village of Huntweasel. I don't know if that's progress or not. Russelton! That would be the ending thing. So that is progress. You should be more careful. Are you sure? Given the price on your head. You can step on it and see if it's necessary. Well, it's set the other one. It says Gang of Thieves. Oh, that's just an ambush. Have fun. Well, I'm going to have fun by, uh... The Warrior's Axe is exactly as rusty as the Villager's Axe. I could 
one has stopped at 19. No, it started at like 23 or something. I meant for when it stopped losing damage. I still don't know what you mean. Every fight, a weapon will lose damage. Yes, and it has lost enough damage to be the same as the rusty one that you start with normally. I cut this one, they always say at least one damage better than the rusty counterpart. Well, you're wrong. I think. Kelbjorn stole my last kill there. Hey, there's some max life and some healing. Hooray! <laughs> well, I can take minus one blessing, except I don't have one. So I'm definitely not going to win the Possess One Blessing reward. Well, and, I'll get by all your fame. And, in fact, I never saw a card that would give us the opportunity to get a Blessing. And there's Six Finger Felix. He's only a silencer. Do you think he's called that because he has six fingers on one hand, or because he has six fingers between both hands? I think it's because he constantly do six finger discounts. That would still imply that he has six fingers on one hand, or a total of six fingers. Because it's normally called a five finger discount. Well, he clearly he doesn't have six left. Yes, it needs two. Like he has a three, ten. Okay, that didn't end the fight. Oh darn. Yep. You have to kill everyone. Well, some of them you just have to kill the boss. Welcome to end this. You have to kill everyone. Yay. Just, we got 30 gold. So what? He just takes six fingers from every one of his victims? Or he takes one finger from each victim and he's had six so far. Alright, so here we are at the Cliffs of Oblivion. Going far. I see food, but it's next to a bad thing. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, I was greedy. I went for the armor. Oh, dear. At least you still we'll won't starve to death. Time. Yet. Yet. I'll be honest, I can't even read how much food there is. Just it's not zero. It's five. Now ah. let's raid a fortress, and I... Did not even click anything, anyway, and it just failed me. Awesome. I'm gonna blame my controller on that. Congratulations on getting a dead center. <laughs> Your first adventure and there went my uh, here, degraded axe, so I don't really care. More difficult. What adventure will fate hold for you? 
So we can have an unknown enemy that gives us 10 fame if we win. Or we can fight the Empire for 30 gold. Hmm. I don't think you have anything too important that you need fame for, so screw it, more money. It's not showing me the votes, but I do see in the chat that people are voting for number two. You overhear the tale of St. Louis Felix, who, having deserted his post, has become leader of a band of thugs. Who knew that St. Louis Felix was also Six Finger Felix, and also the bad guy? This is a good time to add trial, before time has passed and things have become more difficult. Yeah, I think we're just going to add them all again. Discard 15 gold at the end of the current adventure. I can do that. Reveal all encounters. I'm going to do that anyway. And have six plus curses. Curses! Sure, let's, let's just roll with it. Now is your moment to show... Yeah, you highest roller. It was requested count. several times that I do an endless mode before the end of the campaign for some reason so here we are as you descend your decisions here will become your life So we got two front runners so far. I don't know if highest roller is gonna vote. Hold on. Oh, the highest roller did vote. I don't know if Mateo's gonna vote. I'm doing it. I had to readjust myself. All right. So for the next set, I think this is why they wanted endless mode because there's a ton of voting. I wouldn't have to disagree with that being the best item in the game, personally. Oh, Mask of Holy Fortunes, avoid failure. I like it. Pious robes, avoid starving. I like it. Neither one gets a vote. <laughs> we can't let Circle have anything nice. Congratulations. You have not fallen at the first hurdle. Now your decisions become more pressing. This is a significantly bigger map. Oh, hey, it's some kind of dragon. Rar. Or worm. A serpent. No, I said rar. No, I mean, oh, the hey. description calls it a serpent, but it looks like it has a dragon face with some kind of worm. W-Y-R-M. The legends of old spit on thee. Oh, hey, Pandarus. Was anybody watching the cards? Nope. Well, you, you voted for the right one. Thank you.
We're not allowed to say that we're hunting Empire. I can't imagine why the Empire context would hate the fact you're hunting Empire. Tell her you can't pick number four. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Fine. So, for 20 gold, do we want mercenary garb? Highest roller says no. I mean, if you don't take it now, it just goes to the top of the equipment deck, so... So, are you also going to vote no? Yes, you are. To use Just this, find a way to draw equipment, and then you'll get it. Wait, I said no. You hit down twice, it looks like. Oh, great, the controller screwed up again. You might need a new controller. you telling me. Hey, at least we're finding this out going endless instead of... Where there would be so many pendulum gambits to fuck up. Well, I found out <laughs> during a uh, four job fiesta because my inputs keep getting screwed up there as well. Highest ruler doesn't want us to get this token. He wants us to just leave. Or she. Oh look, we don't have enough food to trade food. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Yes, highest roller, they do want me to starve. Hi, welcome to Kim the Fate. Where it is our job to screw over circle. All right, do we want to trade this mercenary garb for two food gain cards? Everybody says yes. So 20 gold for eight food is actually a pretty good deal. And having thrown this up for vote, I'm sure that Tallow and Mateo are going to vote that we immediately trade this food away for equipment. Yep. <laughs> what happened with trading the food away for a token? When all is lost, artifacts like these represent a chance. It's not even a good artifact. Yeah, I like it. Every city has you places got a token out of it. Wasn't that worth it? To avoid. I don't know, was it? Of course. That's also where so we've you'll got find the most five blight monsters guarding something. And then we've got something guarding Berserker's Creed armor. Do we want the enemies that we know or the loot that we know? Well, I... Well, the Decker's Creed has a shard on it, so I, that's why I'm voting for it. I don't know that we have enough fame to equip it. <laughs> eh, I'm sure it'll work itself out. Oh no, we've been ambushed by the Empire. We're just straight up robbing soldiers. Also, I didn't change my weapons. You didn't get a chance to. Oh, he's just standing here, huh? Ow. I 
I just put him right on the wagon cart for the dead bodies to be hauled away. Except he fell through it. Bring out your dead! Look, you made some guy's nice job easier. Maybe. <laughs> and hey look, you do have enough fame to equip it. Now oh go get me the back to the bones. Dice games. Oh I did fine. Master. Food! Huzzah! Car! Huzzah! The car did not have food in it. Oh no, I lost a blessing. The nobility continues to reward itself, and the rich become yet more wealthy. So, would you like money, life, or life? You mean, would I like money or damage? I never said it was a positive. <laughs> The rainstorm outside is getting worse somehow. Circle will be drowned. No, I won't drown. I'm inside. Circle will be flooded. That is possible. I mean, that is max damage, but... took one hit in that fight. That went pretty well. As my health continues to degrade. Boo ha ha ha. Oh, hey. New uh, hat. I'll take a new hat. Oh, good. You might be able to get this shot. Once I viewed the role of fortune teller with contempt. Since my recovery, I have needed to pose as one at times, in order to make a living. Now that I understand them far better, I loathe them even more. I would like to point out that if we spend the four gold on this, we won't have enough for that trial anymore. But you've all already voted. I mean, in case of emergency, just sell something. So gain I life, gain food, Gain a lot of food, lose max health, lose food, lose gold, lose the rest of my gold. So I will lose all of my gold and some of my max health in exchange for probably seven or eight food. Wow, that quest sucks. I, I guess you all would rather I starve. That's fine. We exist to make you miserable. Do I even have any equipment I can sell? Oh, I can sell this cry of victory. Goodbye. Sorry, I'm doing this management without votes because I I am. I mean, it's the general store. Yeah. I know how this vote's gonna go, so let me just equip the, uh, the dual weapons. I say that, and Tallow immediately votes for number one. <laughs> Dave, uh, I mostly did that because you said something. It said something that was true. You're not allowed to punish me for that. Wow, Colbjorn charged the wrong direction. 
he picked the target and then whoever happens to be in his way will also get stunned. Unfortunately for you, there was that. Yeah, he charged towards the one thief that got behind him instead of the three in front of him. Yep. I think of all companions, Tovo in here is my third favorite. Well, we haven't even unlocked my favorites yet, so. Okay, which one is your favorite? That's spoilers, man. But I mean, it's it's pretty easy to tell it's not Colbjorn or Rally. Yep. Because I do. I intend on trying to get you to do those. <laughs> We're gonna lose this card in two steps. I mean, who knows? Maybe in two steps you can get. Oh, get we 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 did actually get ten food from it, so that's actually super awesome. Oh, I guess someone put a wanted poster out for you or something. No. Somebody left a trail of coins on the ground, and when we picked them up, they said, Aha, you must be a thief, because only a criminal would pick up loose change. Oh, is this your money? Here you go. Also, I once again did not have the opportunity to change my weapons back. It's almost as if it's an ambush. I know. It's almost as if I'm still annoyed by it. Ow. I would really like to be able to hit one of these parry prompts. There we go. Can't see what's going on. I'm supposed to not tell your companion to just constantly charge. It has a cooldown, and I have to be next to him to trigger it. I'm only commenting on this because I'm seeing the prompt come up constantly. Okay, this Bountiful Gains card is actually paying off a ton, and I'm enjoying it a lot. But yeah, let me just get off of this <laughs> weapon before I move. So, St. Louis Felix, it's time for you to leave the Twitch chat and enter a grave. Wait, he's in the Twitch chat? What? He was in the Twitch chat. That's where it got the name for St. Louis Felix from. Did you think that the devs put that name in? Yes. <laughs> That's all lowercase, all one word, and just happens to match somebody who spoke in the chat room before. I never saw the name actually written that on. So, as far as I was aware, it was just Saint Louis Felix as a proper name. Ow. 
helps. Oh, we. Well, I was mashing the right trigger trying to get my special to go off, and instead I just get hit. Trial completed. Hooray. Does anyone have the time? 10.53. Yeah, it is 12.53. So we successfully pay gold. Amazing. We also successfully visited every square. We were unsuccessful in screwing ourselves over. I'm definitely taking the Guardian Angel blessing. You can't stop me. And we definitely don't have six curses. We lose all of our fame and our special armor. I see we have begun to appreciate You don't actually it is just showing that I got unequipped because with your fame. Right. It got unequipped as in we no longer have it on, we lose it. We lose it's the benefit of it. Okay. So do we want to fight an ogre or undead? One of them gives food and the other gives gold. Although we now have 28 food, so that will keep us in good stead for a while. Oh, I can actually see the votes this time. Oh, apparently there are assassins after us. You are no kind of... Will come of this. What end name is? Alright, what do we get? Yeah. Two, discard two weapons at the end of the current adventure. We're not going to get that. Uh, dice gambit, sure. Discard 37 food. You know how I said that food would keep us in good stead? Uh, I see <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think you wish you were fighting the ogre and how this one food. Do not underthink your decisions. So let's see. Arm wrestling is for gold. Temple prayers is for blessings. This is plot. Plot, 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 <laughs> plot, 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 plot. I don't really care about Colbjorn's plot, though. Do we really need reveal map ones with Fork in the Road and Watchtower? Apparently, Aid Escape no. thinks so. Thank you, Lee. Oh, we got another chance at arm wrestling in Winter Solstice. If we wanted those. I don't think you have what's required for the Winter Solstice one. That's what, trade blessings? Yeah. Plus, I'd rather you use your blessing on something else. most broken item in the game. Not armor of gluttony? Yep. Except we're going to lose all of our food. Trust me, it is the most broken item in the game. Oh, well, we have to actually get it first. 
to you. And we need somebody to vote for something else. Yeah. Oh, they're not showing up for some reason. Because it's broken. Okay, I have a chance at pious robes, and you all say no. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Look at all those hungry peasants cards. Oh yeah, they show up because you're doing you something that involves trying to deliver food. Stretch until time itself ends. What has happened to the world beyond the reaches of the Empire? Even that is literally the trigger, trying to deliver food. Alright, so we can lose our awesome blessing to get two random items. Give up the berserkery armor that we can't equip to choose an item or leave. It's almost like number two is objectively better. So, of course, number one gets votes. I'm voting for three because you don't have to shut off the berserker oh, armor. Oh, I, I lost the berserker armor. What? It is not an option. Oh, no. It said one random piece of equipment, so it chose your helmet. Oh, oh well. Spirit magic helmet. Oh well, you clearly didn't need that, did you? So we've got more food gain. Uh, less food eaten. Failure card glows red. And a weapon that we'll need for a trial. And I can't actually trigger a vote. One and two. I only get one. One or two. <laughs> well, I'm voting for the one with the easiest shot on it. Oh, the one that's almost done. Yeah. I guess that means it's 17 out of 20. Yeah. And there goes 10 of my max life, because that's what y'all voted for, thanks. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I think we'll return later to Mr. Cartographer. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't even put that up for vote, just no. Yeah. I wish I had the helmet. Oh well. Yeah, the helmet, I guess, would have helped the rest of his undead. But you would have gotten this shot so much slower. Seven food, not bad. We are still going to return later. This card provides the best results when surrounding encounters are already revealed. Well, there's not an option for that. Yeah, um, you have two or three revealed, so it's half decent, I guess. And you take the get counting diagonals. And I could not be shit on what this card was, so, uh... 
They were various. There were various dangerous levels of wilderness encounters. There was like open field all the way up to treacherous something, whatever. Well, open and dangerous are the two you want. Treacherous wilds. Do we want that or do we want to redraw? Highest roar says everything except treacherous is okay. So I think we'll redraw. Yeah, that's a redraw. Mateo, are you going to create another three-way tie? Maybe. Well, it stayed a two-way tie, and we got dangerous. With more skeletons. Okay, I'm just curious. What was my vote for? Was that treacherous? It was the one with the little banner on it. So it was not treacherous. It was something else. Huh! I don't know what oil card would show up that has a banner on it. Well, I got one fire off that time, so we should be at 18 out of 20. Yep. Honestly, after you're done with the show, you can just throw that sword in the trash for all I care. Well, the Berserker's Creed still gives me one defense. As oh, opposed to zero. Go. Oh, don't worry. I'll go down to zero next fight. And I get to reveal three encounters. And more food. I'll take more food. Wow, that is an ostentatiously ugly helmet crown thing. Okay, yeah, we need to fix that hat. So with a fully revealed map, we only got eight gold out of the cartographer. People need food, and they turn to you because their leaders have failed them. The land itself has failed them. So we can either say that we don't have any food, or we can pay them off. How much food do you have? I have 35 out of the 37 that I need to deliver. Everybody's voting for number three. a chance to improve your standing yet it will require you no, to take I would disagree hardship. with that statement your choice to make I would have mm -hmm. agree that they yeah. have some interesting AI that makes them attack out of sync with literally everything else so more dangerous if they're actually with other enemies so this Shade or whatever is offering to let our soul free of its shell. I forget a tease the one I want you to get curses for points or trade blessings for points. No, it's gain curses for points. Well, I don't think there's going to be any unhelpful companion. But I thought you didn't have early pigeon. You thought I didn't have what? Rally Pigeon. <laughs> we never have a Rally Pigeon. That's the joke. Hey look, it's more hungry peasants. Are we going to lose all of our food to this? Or should I just fight them? I think this is going to cause a fainting penalty, if I recall correctly. So, 
Sometimes people don't like you being a peasant. But hey, they can smell apples. Somehow. Even though raw apples don't really have a smell? Mateo, you want to break this tie? Mm. We can fight or just try to push our way through. We're going to fight. They fight and they fight and they fight and they fight. Congratulations! You get to beat a poor defenseless pet. They're not Hooray. defenseless, they have pitchforks and they attacked me. Yeah. I don't know, we're four. Someone might actually have a rifle. Do not summon up what you cannot put down. Also, I don't get my companion for this. He has bombs. That is messed up. Wait, what? This dude was throwing bombs at me. Okay, that's the first time I saw pet. I seen a peasant on bombs. I so, see they still die to freeze, but. Berserker's armor no longer provides defense. Yeah, it'll still provide you with the other benefits, though. So. How did we Thank get you. back to Gnomish Exchange? Do we want to give up one of the few items that we actually need, or just tell them to screw off? Hmm. I see they can fuck off all I can. We've already gotten the token from this encounter, Mateo. Like, maybe if you had spare weapons. Well, now we get to fight some gnomes. Thief. They're basically hairless Smurfs. Off the cliff. Nope. Darn it. This is Sparta Kick. Unfortunately, there's an invisible wall there. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have been hilarious to see the camera just follow the guy get punched off the cliff. Hey, we can pay six gold for a chance at a blessing. A chance of? Yeah, it's, I think it's a, a card chance. gambit. No. Oh no, we just get to pick. What's the one I'm thinking of that it's a card gambit? Probably the one that's on the way up the mountain for a high priestess. So we have, if I go to zero on everything, I get six gain cards and lose it. I have gain 20 gold if I have less than 20 gold. I can trade st stuff for max life. I get healed by getting gold and I get extra food after dice gambits. Oh, there's no voting on this, so I'm just going to go with the food one. More peasants. You know what? I'm ten food short of winning this, so I don't think the trial even matters. And I only have the one weapon. I mean, you can use the rest of these things. 
Uh, no, deliver two weapons. One of two. I don't have a second weapon to deliver. Oh, that. Yeah, I'm talking about the, the actual objectives, the trials. Well, well let's you... let's just show off what try to push your way through does. Oh, this is going to hurt you a lot. Yeah, but I'm I'm honestly getting tired of all the votes. That's fair. And all the waiting. Oh, hey, it's a distressed damsel. Hey, you might actually get some food off of this. Tala, why are you voting that I lose food? No, I'm saying you might no, get some No, on the food. top bar, you voted for oh. minus three food. Because I can. <laughs> Wow. Seventeen. Wow, almost a perfect score. And I did not get food. Hey, it's Parandris again. Oh, hey, can you just tell him fuck off for me? Thank you. I think that would be the huge failure card. Uh, let's let's keep that success. Yeah. Shame you don't have the shenanigans needed to make a huge a huge success appear. It's a shame I don't have a lot of things. Oh, hey, yeah, it froze. Oh. Nice. That's that's Windows for you. Uh, so you know what? We're going to call it there. I think this was plenty of endless mode for now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I wanted to do the campaign first. We will come back to this after the campaign. Uh, in the meanwhile, I want to thank Mateo360 and Tello for joining me in the Discord. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.